Yeah, today um, I helped Richard Phillips. I was more of a fatigue man. Um, he produced a, uh, a meal with uh, his head chef, Dan, uh, from one of his restaurants. And uh, I was just a hands-on, really. It's the first time he's used the OFCS equipment, our field kitchen equipment, what we'd use on Optor. And uh, just guide him. He, he cooked the meal, he produced the meal. It's a speciality, and I helped to, uh, if there was any problems with the equipment. And, uh, uh, Richard Phillips, he, he was cooking with ORP, which is our um, operational dried rations, tinned rations, and he had a, uh, a select amount of uh, fresh rations. Um, and he produced a, a chicken and mushroom pie, uh, boulanger potatoes, which is quite a fancy potato dish. Uh, a variety of sweets was produced by the other chef, Danny, which is one of his head chefs. And, uh, yeah, I was really impressed. Um, some of the stuff that he produced I'll try and use again, maybe not even on tour, I could use it in a, in a normal operational kitchen. Uh, a lot of the sweets were very impressive. Uh, I really enjoyed it and got to get my hands on and give it a little bit of a go. And um, yeah, it was really good, really good day. It, it was a really high standard. Um, I thought it, it was really good food. Um, however, I'd say the Army chefs, they produced good, equally good food and uh, maybe more portions. They, they produced more portions because they were competing. We wasn't competing. Um, it was just there to show the skills of a civilian chef. Um, the, the food, I would say, was not the same standard. It, Richard Phillips done a better standard, but the army chefs were really well. I'd say that the army chefs are better because they, they cook more portions and of an equally high quality. He cooked a, a smaller amount of portions, um, but of a higher quality still. Uh, working with Richard Phillips today, I learned um, that even celebrity chefs, that they're, they're not the be all and end all. That, you know, there's always room for improvement and room for learning. Um, I learned to, maybe when I get back to my field unit, I stay a lot calmer. He was really calm, really chilled out. And I'd say that some of the, the pastry, um, especially the pastry, I learned a lot today, but mainly pastry, I'd say that I'd, I'd learned the most. And I'd, I'd use this, if I was going to go on Af to Afghan, it'd be uh, good to use because it'd be really good morale to produce something of a standard that high. Um, maybe if I was at a FOB, a forward operating base where the soldiers, a limited number of soldiers, so maybe 16 guys have been working hard to produce a meal of that standard, I think it'd be really impressive keep their morale high and keep them going, keep them soldiering on.